Well, South Bend's Rum Village Park has been under construction for several weeks now, but the end result that may not be what you anticipated. No, this is a little bit different. New at 5, the construction work is transforming the park to an adventure park, really. WSBT 22's Jesse Schultz was at the park today, so they're installing zip lines there. That's right, Jennifer the, and Rick. The park is going to have three to four acres of zip lines going from tree to tree. The man behind the adventure park tells me Rum Village is a perfect place for this state-of-the-art park. He predicts it's going to be the first of many throughout Indiana. The sound of construction and the sound of children is normal for Rum Village Park as it transforms into an aerial adventure park filled with obstacle courses and zip lines. Steve Doniger oversees the operation. He says he's had his eyes on South Bend for a while. We already have an extraordinary park here with Rum Village. We have great trees. It's an opportunity for us to celebrate nature, opportunity for us to bring something really cool and exciting to a community that says vibrant at South Bend. Just it, everything matched up. It's a perfect relationship. The park will have five different trails with about 10 obstacle courses for ages seven and up. Doniger says safety is a number one priority. We have what we call our uh, aerial guides that are roaming the course, kind of like lifeguards. Along with proper harnesses and gloves. But finding out that it is for kids of all ages and that safety workers are going to be out here um, makes it, I will come out here all the time. Doniger says the park will allow residents to be able to see nature from a different view. Just a different way to look at, at, at the world when you're, you know, 60 feet up in the air. When I asked these kids if they were excited for Adventure Park, they had one word. Yes! Adventure Park is really one of the first of its kind. Doniger told me he hopes the park will open within the next three weeks, but he's not positive it will be done by then with the delays like the weather. Jennifer and Rick, after that, the park should be open through Thanksgiving.